Hi everybody, I'm Manorama and this is Sanskrit Studies in the Luminous Soul Corner and I want to welcome you all here today. Today we're going to work on a um, Patanjali's Yoga Sutra and we're going to work with uh, Sutra Chapter 1, Sutra Number 5. Chapter 1, Sutra Number 5. So if you don't have it already, you can get, uh, if you have it, you can get this book out from your shelf, which is um, my teacher's translation and, uh, and commentary on Patanjali's Yoga Sutra. If you'd like to order it and you don't have it, you can go to the website sanskritstudies.org. Sanskritstudies.org. Show you the book here. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra with translation and commentary by my teacher. Okay, so now I want to, uh, I'm going to put this on the board here. This is the sutra that we're going to be working with today. And the sutra says, Vrittaya Panchataya. Say, Vrittaya Panchataya Klishta Klishta. Klishta Klishta. Okay, so it says, Vrittaya Panchataya Klishta Klishta. Now you, Vrittaya Panchataya Klishta Klishta. Now me, Vrittaya Panchataya Klishta Klishta. And you, Vrittaya. Vrittaya Panchataya Klishta Klishta Om Just take one moment, allow yourself to feel that. Okay, so this sutra is giving you a list of what we call the five vrittis. So it's saying vrittaya and panchatayaha. Let's do it again, vrittaya and panchatayaha. And uh, rather than, I'm sorry, not a list, it's telling you that there are a list of five, uh, five vrittis and they are panchatayaha, they are fivefold. So there's five vrittis, fivefold, and, or that's how we usually translate it. And that these vrittis are klishta and aklishta. So they are either causing pain or not causing pain. They are either blocking or not blocking. That's another way to think about it. But there's nothing that says that a vritti gives you access to the experience of joy, integration, light, and balance. And that's a key thing to be aware of in this moment, that there is nothing about the vritti process, that what you're going to learn in the subsequent sutras, that says that vritti, you know, there's no sutra that says vritti is the, the channel by which you come to know yourself. Vritti is the way you can make sense of everything. No. It shows you the different vrittis in the following sutras, but right here it's described as panchatayaha, fivefold or five types of vrittis, and that those vrittis are all causing pain and not causing pain. There's nothing that says they give rise to enlightenment, to ease, and to peace. And so that's to be noted, that you're going to learn about those five vrittis in the subsequent, and learn about what vritti is. They're called the turnings, the internal turnings, the way we make sense of things. But that on a spiritual level, you have to transcend vritti. And so now, he had said that in previous sutras, so now you have to say, well, then what is vritti? And start to understand the vrittis that you see laid out and then ask yourself, how do I relate with those vrittis? What do I discover through the channel of vritti? What is left out? What is not possible to understand through the channel of vritti? Right? So Patanjali says, in Sutra 1.2, he gives you the definition, yoga shchitta vritti nirodha that when you are, when the vrittis subside on the field of chitta, that is yoga. So we have to first, now we've got that definition, now we say, well then, what are the vrittis becomes the question that's prior to this sutra, and the answer becomes the vrittis are fivefold, and they are causing pain or not causing pain. And you have to note that and say, oh, it causes suffering, or it doesn't cause suffering, but there is nothing in the sutra that says it causes great joy, vrittis help you understand yourself on the deepest level. There's nothing that says that. 
It just says causing pain or not causing pain. So you tag that in your consciousness. You tag it and you say, oh, okay, vritti is a channel by which I can experience suffering or not suffering. But it doesn't mean I experience um, balance and ease, tranquility through the vritti channel. And that's it. You take that and you allow that to sit with you, okay? So this week you can practice uh, with your within the context of your yoga practice. You're going to practice chanting the sutra. Um, think about this dialogue if you've taken notes or you can re-watch it and kind of work with that and allow that to meet you and allow that to kind of um, expand as you sit with it like a, like a good friendship, right? Let it expand more. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in a new session soon. Be blessed, everybody. And remember, you are unique, you are beautiful, you are powerful, and you are free. You are energy moving through the form, evolving yourself here. You are a luminous soul. Lots of love, everybody.